You understand what I'm saying? And that's why many of the scrolls of ancient Egypt was born or burned. And so this is a profound look. Here we are at the lakes. And so you see the criminally renamed Lake Victoria right there, the criminally renamed uh, uh, Lake Victoria, Lake Mal Mal uh, Mal Malawi, uh, Lake Tanganyika, Lake uh, Kivu. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got the other, uh, you know, criminally renamed Lake Alba, Lake, you know what I'm saying? And this, that, and the third, all these goddamn uh, uh, European, these British, then came and then put their names on. That's disrespectful to ourselves to continue to allow this shit to exist on maps. African people gave, we was named, and now we got to be namers. You understand what I'm saying? We got to be, we got to rename every fucking thing to our own empowerment. And so you also see right there to the right, if you look to the uh, left of the lakes, the great, holy great lakes region, you see the Congo, and you just see all the animals. Nowhere in the world where you gonna find that at. Nowhere, nowhere on the, you know, land wise. And then not not just, the, you know, you got the Nile, but we talking about, you know, all the great lakes, I mean, great rivers of Africa. No other continent has so many. You understand what I'm saying? Because after, you know, you got the Amazon down in South America. And, then, you know, but we got the Nile. But not only do we got the Nile, we got the Congo. Not only do we got the Congo, we got the Niger. Not only do we got the Niger, we got the Limpopo. We got the Orange. You understand what I'm saying? You got so many other uh, great uh, rivers that's, that's flowing in all directions. You understand what I'm saying? You got the Nile flowing from south to north. Then you got the Congo also coming out the Great Lakes region. You see what I'm saying? Also out the Great Lakes region. But it's, it is flowing from east to west. You see what I'm saying? So it starts at the rivers and it, it, it uh, the uh, the mouth of the river is into the Ethiopian Ocean, which been renamed the Atlantic Ocean. And so you got even, I believe, you got the Limpopo, which is going from uh, west to east. And so, you, I mean, you just got uh, so many rivers going in every direction. And so, I mean, these are the highways of Africa. And so this is the, the mastery of our people who have, mastered the continent in ancients of days. And Egypt is one of the more modern eras of ancient history. You know what I'm saying? And that's shocking that Egypt is, uh, you know, just, you know, one of the uh, er uh, more modern aspects of ancient history. Because, you know, we can go into the interior of Africa and go into a million of years where Egypt is probably around 25,000, 30,000 years. You know what I'm saying? Nubia is probably at least 10,000 years older than Egypt. You understand what I'm saying? And so, but when you go up into the interior of Africa, you're talking about close to a million years. And then you can explain how they put the megaliths in, in Egypt because you're talking, you're talking about, you know, a million years of, of evolution of the mind. Not no goddamn coming from no goddamn monkey up. And see, that's what fucks people head up. And then they don't have no course to explain the pyramid. Because you know it's going to take at least a million years to develop that type of architecture. Because, you know, a man started, you know, just with a hut. You know what I'm saying? Very simplistic. You know, and even before that, they probably lived in, you know, whatever, just natural uh, uh, enclosures. You know what I'm saying? And then they begin to develop smaller type of structures, you know, and, and so you tell you talking about, you know, you know, a million years of, of, of evolution, even from the uh, astrological, cosmological standpoint, when you're talking about seeing stars. That you know, like the Dogon, but the Dogon said they got it from the Egyptian stars. You 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 know you wouldn't be able to see today without a damn telescope. And so, how did our people see that? Because they've been around the Great Year, which is the 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 revolution of the sun, which is twenty five thousand years. And so they've been around a Great Year. No other people has been around a Great Year. 
of 25,000 years of the sun's rotation around the greater sun, what some say is serious. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I can't back that up, but I understand that the sun is in a revolutionary spin. And so if we look at the earth and we look at all of the planets spinning around the sun, we logically come to the understanding that the sun is also spinning around something also greater than itself. You understand what I'm saying? And so the educational logic thinking, you see what I'm saying? And so we here looking at Asia, we looking at Kush uh, uh, Major, you know what I'm saying? Kush Major and all the great civilization of Kush Major from Zimbabwe all the way, you know, close to the southern areas of Africa, to the Congo, to Punt, to Oxum, to Nubia, Kush, Kemet. And so you just talking about on the East Coast. You talking about on the East Coast. We ain't even went on the West Coast and dealt with Songhai, Mali, Ghana, Benin, the Nok, you understand, the Ife and, and all the, uh, the Shanti, you understand, and all the other great, you know, of uh, 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 nations of West Africa. And so, you know, even if we go up into the northern regions, because you see the Sahara, but it wasn't all the, always that way. You understand what I'm saying? They understand that, you know, at the, you know all of Africa was at one time, you know, a, a, a vegetated area. You see what I'm saying? So you, it, there's uh, evidence of rivers flowing up under the Sahara, you know what I'm saying? So just imagine when it was all one, you know, full of, you know, it's just unbelievable, even the way that it is. And so back in the day, I remember you used to watch uh, uh, the the animals, the wild, uh, I forget what they call that, that animal show. And man, they would be flying over Africa. You understand what I'm saying? And it'd be just thousands and thousands Oh, one type of animal. God damn it, he just flies a zebra, just antelopes and all type of buffaloes and all type of, you know, every goddamn thing. They be flying in the helicopter, just, you know, they just take off and shit, and it just be so many thousands and thousands and thousands of animals. And so they didn't went in there and pillage. So you could just imagine that Africa most definitely is the home of life. You know, African life, I must state that, you know. And so from there, it went into uh, Asia. And as you can see, Asia is more mountainous. You know, they got areas, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, you know, where it is very lush. But that's in the south. That's in the south. You see what I'm saying? That's in the south. There's certain areas in the, in the south. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it doesn't have that, that flat earth you know you know landscape you know what i'm saying a lot of that shit up there is in their mountains and things of that nature so yeah you got you know southern you got southern iraq and this that's where mesopotamia is so mostly mostly all them civilizations in asia whether it was mesopotamia whether it was uh uh what they call sheba or saba which is in you know Modern day Arabia was in the south. You understand what it was? It was in the deep south because that was the only area, uh, you know, that where you had some some land, some where you could grow vegetation and this, that, and the third. You see what I'm saying? Even in Angkor Wat, if you look over there, Angkor Wat, you see what I'm saying? There's a lot of mountains over that area, and right where the mountains turn into, you know, a, 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 a level, you know, level land. That's where you find the great civilizations. They were deep in the south. You see what I'm saying? And so the Kush, the Kushites took it into that area. You know, there's no doubt about it. And that our people did not walk no fucking way. That our people was on ships from the very beginning. That's why I always speak and teach about oceanography. Let me make sure all the family is in the house. Hold on, family. Make sure all the family is in the house. Okay, we 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 got family. We got family trying to show up. All right. 
Okay. And so this is, and so this, you know, all of this is, you know, is the legacy of our people, and it's documented. You know what I'm saying? And then that, you know, and and you know, upcoming lectures, I'm gonna get off into the book work. You know what I'm saying? And really, you know, you know, back it up and that you know the the ancients knew this. It wasn't no miss. I'm not making nothing up. All of the 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 ancients knew this, and that's what they said that it was. They were not mistaken about who took civilization into Asia. They knew and said it was one people, and they referred to those areas over there as Kush. You see what I'm saying? And so we see here, you know, from you know deep in you know, and I'm gonna be going into you know uh, temples that people don't even know about. See, the thing is, it's so you know the thing that it makes Egypt so devastatingly, shockingly, you know, uh, superior to all civilizations is the fact that Egypt technically fell in the BC era. You see what I'm saying? They, you know, Egypt technically, ain't no technically did fall in the, you know, BC era. You know what I'm saying? You know, as as a, a independent, sovereignly ruled nation, even though remnants of the spirit, spirituality lasted deep into the AD period. You know, technically, Egypt as a sovereign nation failed primarily after the 25th dynasty. Yeah, you had kings, but they was hanging on by a fingernail. You know what I'm saying? There was no more, you know, just, you know, six and seven and eight kings ruling in a dynasty successfully. Powerful kings. That was over with. So m most of all the temples, the tombs, and people have to understand, it's thousands. You understand what I'm saying? It's thousands. When you count, we're talking about you know, you're talking about tens of thousands of small temples, large temples, but you got small temples too. Every temple not large. You know what I'm saying? And so you could find little small temples carved in mountains, and you know what I'm saying to a particular uh, god or to a you know a particular nobleman. Every nobleman couldn't afford a great giant, you know, a uh, uh, tomb, you know what I'm saying? So they had smaller tombs, you know what I'm saying? So when you're counting all the temples and the tombs and all the artifacts, it's millions. It's millions of artifacts, and it's, it's tens of thousands of tombs and, you know, and, and temples and so on and so forth. So all of that is in the B.C. era. It's none of it in the A.D. era. And so no other nation, whether it be India, whether it be, you know, has so much you know, just evidence. And so it's just, you know, it's, it's Egypt against the world. If you put the world and take all the ancient artifacts from all other nations and combine it together, I've seen it where you Caucasoids even say it still would not even equal one half of all of the artifacts that have been found. Now, not to say what's there, because you only then found a very small amount. So you could put all the artifacts of the whole world together, and it wouldn't even add up to 50% of what they didn't found in ancient Egypt. We ain't discussing Nubia. We're not discussing nothing now. You understand what I'm saying? And I believe that it's even greater than that. You see what I'm saying? And so... There's even temples that people don't even talk about that I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a video on, and I might give y'all a little matter of fact, I might just give y'all a little uh, little br a brief overview of those, you know, and they just as grand, but because they are in Nubia, and really they wish that they would have, and that matter of fact, many of them were flooded out. You see what I'm saying? They were flooded out. You see, and and they were, you know moved a lot of them temples had to be cut cut up and moved to higher ground because when they put the the aswan dam in there the it flooded and god damn it and uh you see uh it flooded a lot of the evidence of nubia being the mother of egypt and they you know that's clearly what they was trying to do 
when they did it. You see, and so you uh, we are, we are showing. So you were you you thinking? You know, if you're looking at this map and you're talking about low, lower Egypt, you know what I'm saying, down to Nubia, the second cataract. Do you understand that there were temples all and still temples? <laughs> and not, not was, still is. You know, from, from you know, you're talking about them that 2,000 miles. That's, a, you know, it's just heavy, heavy fact that any motherfucker that want to, you know, and I, and I be trying to bully scholars on the internet from any other uh, cultural background because they, they boost they shit up like they really got they really got that smoke which they don't. So you talking about close to over two thousand miles of of just you know temples and tombs and artifacts without only truly a a a, a gap. In that 2000, they're not going to build the temples right up only, but they're really not that far from one another. So you could go down this whole 2000 miles of river and understandably, it's some past the second cataract. It, 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 it's, it's temples and tombs past the second cataract. You know what I'm saying? And so if you go all the way down to Great Zimbabwe, you understand what I'm saying? And they're finding evidence of, you know, the greatness of that civilization that has been, you know, hidden to us, you know, for the most part, even up into this day, people don't know about Great Zimbabwe and 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 the uh, and the uh, uh wealth that you know of that African empire. You understand that stretched deep into the interior of Africa, all the way to the coast. From that, you know what I'm saying? Where they was dealing, dealing heavily in gold and resources and so on, which made it one of the most powerful kingdoms in Africa and in the world at that time. You know, but we're not, you know, when, you know, and they don't want us to know about it because they have always taught and told us that we did not have no civilization. I got goddamn books and shit and I'll piss on them right now today. Well, you can go in them right now and the white man say the only people in the world that never created civilization were African people. And so this is the devastation that they didn't put on our people. And a lot of our people believe that shit and, 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 you know, and, 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 you know, and took it to heart. You understand? And even taught it to their own people for many years. And then when you come and show them some greatness of Africa, they are, you know, they'll turn their face on it like, nigga, you lying. Nigga, you done made this shit up. Nigga, quit lying. You know what I'm saying? They won't even accept it. And so that's the devastation of the African mind, you see? And so, you know, and so we understand the monsoons and, you know what I'm saying? We understand, you know, the greatness of, you know, uh, of, you know, our people understanding oceanography and uh, the uh, world trade you know, on the oceans, you know, that you see today. It's the, the, the one that they use in the day. The, tr the routes, the earth, don't, the earth don't change. The same, you know, the, the, you know, those gems, all, you know, as far as, you know, geographical gems that navigate you from one ocean to the other. You understand what I'm saying? More easily than any other areas and shit. It's the same planet. So it was the Africans that had mapped out the global trading system that Europeans are using today. And see, the thing is, we think we just going to read some shit. No, nigga, if you intend on becoming the great African empire, global empire that you once was, you must reclaim these geographical PowerPoints on the map. Or you ain't, nigga, you just talking. You're just talking. Even if we, you know, we are going to have to claim the oceans that surround our continent. That's a part of that. Not just the continent, the waterways. You understand what I'm saying? That connect to Africa and connect Afri to Africa to the greater world. We're going to have to control that. If we don't control that, we're just talking. Nigga, you landlocked. You understand what I'm saying? You landlocked. And that's how many, you know, when you just talk about the death of most civilizations, in the world, majority of them was because they had become landlocked because their enemy cut them off from the water.